Hello kids, good morning and welcome back to Champs on Demand. How was your week and how was your Father's Day celebration last week? Did you give your daddy a big hug? That's great! Oh yes, I want to tell you something super duper cool before we start. Champs is back at church. It's on Sundays at 9.30am and 11.30am. Don't forget to ask mommy and daddy to sign up for you. There'll be fun activities, Bible lessons, games, and so much more. Can't wait to see you at church. Last week, we learned why we need to go to church. Do you remember why it's so important to go to church? That's because God is there, and His presence is stronger in church. We can all come together as a big family and worship. That's right, the church is a special and holy place, and we get to learn all about Jesus. Today, we will continue to learn why we need to go to church. Teacher, what if we are not good enough or have done something wrong before? Can we still go to church? Of course! Church will be the perfect place for us. Look at all the heroes in the Bible. They weren't perfect, but God used them and caused them to shine. One of them was Paul. Let's check out how God made him shine. This is Saul. He hated the followers of Jesus a lot. He hated them so much that he would hunt them down and frighten them. He even told them that he would kill them. He went to the high priest and asked him to write a letter so that he could arrest the followers of Jesus. He wanted to bring them back in chains. On the way to Damascus, Suddenly, a bright light from heaven flashed around him. Saul fell on the ground, and he heard a voice say, Saul, Saul, why are you doing things against me? Saul cried, Who are you, Lord? And the voice said, I am Jesus. I am the one you are trying to hurt. Get up and go into the city, and someone there will tell you what to do. The man traveling with Saul was speechless. They heard the voice but saw no one. Saul got up and opened his eyes, but he could not see anything. So the man with Saul took his hands and led him to Damascus. For three entire days, Saul could not see, and he did not eat or drink. Then Ananias went and laid his hands on him. Something that looked like fish scales fell from Saul's eyes, and he could see again. <laughs> from then on, Saul became a follower of Jesus and was filled with the Holy Spirit. He started telling everyone that Jesus is the Son of God. Everyone was amazed. Wow. He even got a new name, Paul. He began to preach about Jesus everywhere he went. Despite many challenges such as being thrown into prison, shipwrecked, and even narrowly escaping death multiple times, Paul continued to preach about Jesus. This is because he knows that Jesus lives and knows that all his sins have been forgiven. Saul was not perfect and even did many bad things to the followers of Jesus. Yet, God used him and he became one of the greatest people who told so many people about Jesus. God never asked Paul to be perfect first. Instead, God changed Paul to be who God wanted him to be. In the same way, we don't have to be perfect before we can go to church. Another reason why we go to church is that we get to know all the gifts that God has given us and we can use our special gifts and talents to serve, just like this. I wanted to go 
outside and play, but then it started raining. When we go to church, we also learn what Jesus has told us to do. Love God and love people. The more we know Jesus, the more we can show others God's love. Just like how Jesus loves us no matter who we are or how weird we are, we can also accept and love others the same way Jesus loves them. I'm worried that no one will like me and that I have no friends. I have great news for you. Church is made for us to connect with one another. We are all members of God's family. In Romans chapter 12, verse 4 to 5, the Bible tells us that just as our bodies have many parts and each part has a special function, so it is with Christ's body. We are many parts of one body and we all belong to each other. Every part of our body is important, for example, our ears, our eyes, and our digestive system. They are all important in helping our body function well. It helps us see, hear, break down the food we eat so that our body can become strong and healthy. In the same way, every one of us are part of the church. We are the body of Christ. Because we are Christ's body, the church will also function well when everyone comes together and worship God. When we go to church, we grow together and become very, very strong. Try breaking this easy piece. Was that hard to break? No, nope, it was so easy to break. Now try breaking this. Okay. That's right, church is where you and I learn more about God and His love for us. Church is also where God equips us to do what God has prepared us to do. Remember kids, the church is you and me gathered together. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for welcoming us into your big family in church. Help us grow together in your word that we may stand strong and feel belonged in this wonderful family of yours. Teach us to love one another and learn more of your word in church. In Jesus' name, Amen. Bye kids, see you next week and see you at church. Hello, how are you? Today we're going to make Citizen Nut Pastry. Come on along. We're going to make it. So the ingredient is pastry sheet. Then next up, the egg yolk. Then, then the flour. Then some sesame seeds. So come along, let's start making. First we need a, a pastry sheet. Then next up we need to add some milk to that. So let's add it. Add your how much ever you want. Then next up we close it. Now for the next one, let's apply it. Now it's enough. Now we need to close it. Then we need to then we need to seal it again. Okay. Now we need to use the egg yolk to apply it on the pastry. So let's start a very slow. This I'm gonna give a nice Now we're going to sprinkle this, then we're going to put it in the oven for 20 minutes at 180 degrees C. Okay, now let's sprinkle it. Okay, now we're done. Now it's time to put bake it in the oven. Aha, it's made. 
I've done. So it's testing time. I'll eat the milk and then I'll see. Then I'll see if it's perfect. Be the fun thing. It's nice. Front at home. Bye. Mwah.